Welcome to the Path Monk Presets podcast. My name is Sean Donnelly Lewis, and today we're talking with Neelam Kapadia, and he's the co founder, the head of development at NIT at Fusion 180. Neelam, how's it going? Good, Sean. How are you? Good. You're doing a lot of stuff over at Fusion 180, it sounds like. Yes, we are. Yeah. We started back in 2015, and we've been aggressively growing since, and uh, it's been uh, a fun journey. Yeah. So what do you guys do? Go ahead and talk about your company for a second. Yeah, so we are a digital marketing agency. Uh, three of our biggest services are web development. So, you know, we're just building websites. Marketing itself, so uh, all digital marketing, so paid social, address and Google, SEO. Uh, and one of our biggest things is data analytics. Okay. And, yeah, and one of the biggest, you know, in this, in this world, it, there's a lot of agencies out there. So our key differentiator is our emphasis on technology being the backbone that drives all three of our services. And so are, are, just thinking about clientele for a second, are you guys working with, with big companies, right? That have hundreds of employees, or are you guys helping mom and pop around the street, try, kind of get, trying to get their thing, you know, into the digital, trying, trying to update them to 2021 and get them digital. Who, what does your clientele look like? We've been fortunate to actually work with clients of all different sizes. So we actually work sometimes with direct clients. So uh, these are people who have just started a new app, a new website or product or service and are, you know, looking to get launched and started uh, more established companies that are, you know, that have had a presence for a while. And one of the cool things is, you know, we do a lot of white labeling for agencies, other agency partners who, um, you know, work with some big fortune 500 fortune 100 companies and we've been able to provide them the backbone with our analytic services. So we've worked on some big clients in that space. So it's been, it's been fun to kind of get uh, that spectrum of different clients, different budgets, uh, all different goals. Yeah, it probably stretches you a lot creatively to be able to, to meet people's needs, right? Yes, 100%. Um, so thinking about how you've been able to grow the company, you guys have been around for about five or six years now, like you said. Um, how have you been able to grow? What's, what's been the way that you've acquired new clients? There's been a lot of social media, digital marketing, um, SEO, what does growth look like? You know, it's actually been mostly organic, you know, in, in this, uh, in this industry, when we first started, it was a lot about first our networks, you know, my brother had a strong network. He's, uh, he's the other co-founder of our company. Uh, he was in the marketing, uh, you know, the marketing agency world for a while. So he had a lot of contacts, networks that we were able to leverage and get our agency started off the ground. And from there, it's been clients who, you know, get to see what expertise we bring wanted to you know start with a small engagement and then are looking to do even more other people who just spread the word of mouth and say hey look this uh fusion 180 has been great at helping us do x y and z and you know they can help you too um and it's been actually uh you know when a top executive who's uh worked with us for a while leaves and goes to another company they they like what we have to offer and they bring us along a lot of times you know they introduce us and say look we can use you in where i'm going next so it's been a lot of organic growth but we're seeing now that we have to layer in things like thought leadership, other things that, you know, let us showcase our talents, our expertise, especially in an industry where there's a lot of noise, a lot of agencies that you have to stand out from. Yeah. And thinking about uh, with organic growth, um, what, what role does the website play in growing the company? The website for us is really just a web presence to showcase what we do, to talk about our case studies, our clients, our services. Um, you know, it's that, it's that what I would say a typical case of when an agency is so focused on doing their clients' websites and, and work that they never get to theirs, right? So our website is something that we've always been like, oh, we got to find new ways to market it, new ways to do that. But really now we've looked at it as, as a more of a portal to put up engaging content, to have a blog area, to talk about the pain points people are feeling in the industry and be able to talk about it, not from a selling perspective, but more from how we've dealt with it what expertise we can bring to it, how, uh, you know, how we approach it. I think people tend to, to look at that more and, are more, uh, and are get interested in what you can do for them. I think that's now what our website is going to serve as, is a, is a content hub in that sense. Okay. And just staying on the website for a second. I know marketing people in the same space, they're all, like you said, there's always a long list of, of things that you feel like the website could do better. Um, if you were to if you were to improve something on the website, would it be the ability to convert, the quality of leads, uh, the user experience, like you were talking about? Um, which one of those places do you think ah, if we if we got that done, that could change a lot? Well, I can talk about it from a 
from the perspective, let's just say our end clients and their website, right? For us, the website is mainly about talking about who we are at Fusion and what services do we do. And the challenge we see is with our clients' websites, you know, clients who are you trying to sell a product, sell a service, uh, gain brand recognition. Um, the challenges that we see from an agency on those websites is capturing the right data points, right? Understanding your user and who they are. Um, the biggest thing with digital is you're not engaging with the client. You know, when you have a client in your store, when you're on the phone with them, you're getting so many um, data points back from just talking to them. You're able to understand, hey, is this client serious? Are they ready to buy? You know, are they, are they just going to walk out of that store? When you're on a website, you really can't do that. You, you have to try to understand where this, uh, where this user is in this what we call sales funnel. And, and I think you touched on it earlier. We look at it as awareness, consideration, engagement, and then conversion, right? So capturing on the website that data point to understand is how do we re-engage this customer? What's the message we want to send them? And how do we get them to ultimately convert is really what I think the biggest challenge is on websites and what we look to improve on our client side. Just coming back to, to your product, what you guys do for everyone listening in, what would you say is the main competitive advantage to what you guys do as opposed to other people that occupy the same space? Um, I would say our main advantage is, you know, my brother and I, we have a strong technical background and we have a diverse background. And we bring that approach and that, uh, and that, and that sense of it to everything that we do from our strategy down to the execution. So really what you're going to get is a company that, that puts a lot of technology and data at the forefront of what, everything that's being done. Um, we approach all our services very holistically. So we know that everything we do in digital marketing, the website, the marketing itself, the strategy, the creative, how you optimize, it's a well-oiled machine. You know, you need to think about everything together and how they're going to, the synergies you're going to gain from them. And when, you know, when someone comes to Fusion, they're going to see that. They're going to see that our strategy looks at everything together, whether we touch on the service or not, we're going to incorporate that into the strategy where they can improve. And when everything is done together, you get the best product out of it. And that's what we're really going to stress is how, how to make that holistic, how to make everything work together. Yeah. Yeah. I think you said that before as well. Like, you know, the, the, the crazy thing about being online so much is at the end of the day, you're still, in, you're still talking to and impacting people. You're, there's still a person behind the presence, right? Behind the website or behind the whatever it is, there's always people involved. And I think that's, it's, yeah, such an amazing thing. The more that I do these podcasts, the more I realize like, yeah, there's just, it's just a very, even though it's impersonal, it's personal as well. Um, you can find a way to break down that wall, you know, that's what you have to do yeah. to find a way to interact with people in ways that get, you know, that help you understand them. Yeah. Just kind of thinking we've, we've had this big view of, of the company thinking more structurally. Um, how is sales and marketing structured at the moment? So, um, you know, sales for us, you know, we, uh, we work on two capacities. One is a retainer-based contract, right? So co clients who have ongoing marketing needs, ongoing analytics needs, uh, usually fall into the retainer side of our sales. Um, from a website development, it's more project-based. The, the, that's where the sales come in. And then we try to, you know, from usually when a client is a website, there's going to be maintenance involved, marketing involved, analytics involved. So we start with project and move into uh, hopefully what, we, what we're doing as a retainer. Um, that is on the sales side of it. And the marketing side, like I said, you know, it's mostly organic, but now my brother and I are looking for ways for us to be, you know, for us to brand our agency in a different light, stand out again from the noise, show, showcase to our audience. And again, this is, this is the challenging thing, how, you know, our expertise and our level, right? The clients that we work with see that on a day-to-day -day basis. They see our engagement with us. They start trusting us. They see what we can bring that's different than other agencies. But newer customers, you know, they could just look at us as exactly that. Oh, just another agency, right? So how do we stand out from them? So for us, marketing is having people get into our heads, understand our approach, understand our critical thinking, and that's where the marketing becomes all this content-based. I'm always intrigued by, by, I'll say, small companies, but companies where you know everyone because normally in, in a bigger company, you have kind of the sales and marketing can, can butt heads sometimes, right? You have this, this kind of tension that comes up. So I'm just interested to hear about the process. So you have somebody who's interested in working with you guys. What would that look like from the very beginning to the end? If you could just walk me through the process. Yeah, sure. Um, so usually once we get somebody who wants to do some kind of engagement, whether they want to do some marketing or web build, um, we, uh, my brother and I are always big about hopping on a call and first understanding what are their needs. Um, what are they looking to accomplish? What have they done before that we can use as a 
jumping off point is a learning point, right? Um, and then once we kind of understand from them what they're hoping to achieve, what's their timeline, what's their budgets, we put together uh, what we call like a, 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 an informal scope of work that really goes through our strategy and how everything we're going to do, like what services we're going to do, as well as most importantly, how they're all going to work together, right? How the website build, for example, like a website build, what are the data points we're gonna, we're gonna capture in the website that's going to feed into the marketing and that's going to ultimately help us from an analytic standpoint, find the right optimizations, right? So we go back, not just with like, hey, here's what we can do for you, but here's how everything's gonna work together. And once the client sees the strategy, they go, you know what, we like it, or we're bought into this, this is what we're gonna do. Then, you know, it's about closing the contract, doing a kickoff call. And in the beginning of the engagement, my brother and I stay very involved to get our team started. Uh, you know, we have a team of uh, 12 people. So, you know, we're able to get them all started on the same page. And then as, as each service kind of branches off, we let them kind of take on their own evolution and identity. And, but then we, with our analytics, we tie everything back together. That's our tether, really. The analytics is able to see how the website is performing, how the marketing is performing, and how things can be optimized. So we always use that to kind of tie everything back to results and stay in touch with the client. You usually do like a cadence of every... Twice a, twice a month reporting, show them how they're trending, what we're doing, what we're improving, and the results we've gained from that. Very cool. Just to switch gears here a little bit, I want to talk about you as a leader. What, what kind of content do you consume to continue to educate yourself and, and grow as a person and as a professional? It's, it's all the new innovation going on right now. You know, digital marketing is such a changing landscape that uh, it's finding that right balance, right? There's so many innovative things that are happening that are what I would say a little too early to bring to a client. And then there's things that you don't want to get behind on. So for me, it's finding the, you know, finding that content that really helps me find that balance and innovation so that I can bring it to our clients and that we can always stay, always bring them the latest ideas. So right now there's a lot of different ways to target your audience, a lot of different ways to, to reach that niche. You know, when you have more information about who's your ideal uh, customer, you can reach them now with social media, with targeting, with all these kind of things. So, Understand the technology and then how to craft that for your clients' needs is, is the content I like to consume. Very cool. No podcasts, no books, anything like that? No shout outs? You know, podcast is something that I really want to get more into. Uh, this is actually my first podcast I'm doing, right? Okay. With uh, you guys. So that's uh, definitely uh, a very interesting and cool experience. I think it's going to open me up to the podcast world. I've heard a lot of friends talk about interesting podcasts they listen to and everything. And, uh, you know, I, I just been consuming, you know, things the same way. Like I have a lot of these, you know, websites I go to these articles and stuff like curated news that I try to do that's on topic with what I, with what I do. And yeah, I do need to branch outside of that and get into some different areas. So uh, hopefully this is my foray into it. Sounds good. We're going to take all the credit. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so before we end here, I just want to, I want to test you out in our rapid fire section. Are you all right with that? Yeah. Okay. These are just short and sweet answers to short questions, uh, but try and be honest. I don't like, I don't like liars. Nobody likes liars. <laughs> don't be embarrassed if you think about you, if you take a second, that's totally fine too. Neelam, what was the last book that you read? The last book that I read was, um, oh, I actually read Girl on a Train. <laughs> that was the one that I read with, my wife had recommended it. We had it and I was like, you know what? Let me pick it up and read that. <laughs> What's the single focus that your company has at the moment? Um, data. Data is the biggest thing. Everything right now we do is data driven. Um, we've actually, uh, knowing that we've actually even built our own software that is about dealing with data overload right now that's going on in the industry. So it's data has been the driving force in everything we do. If there were no boundaries in technology, what would be the one thing you want to have fixed for your company today? Um... I would say, no boundaries, limitless. I would say it's, it's um, if there was no boundaries in technology, I would say it's helping, it's helping find for our audience that right customer uh, at the right point in the channel. I think that marketing is all about the right 
the right audience at the right time with the right experience. So it's getting all those three things together and technology has always been the one that we're trying to find new ways to bring all that together. If there were no boundaries, if we can make sure that the right, you know, at the right mindset, someone saw the exact product they were looking for and it spoke to them and they were able to, without any friction, buy it, that would be amazing. What's the last thing that kept you awake at night about the company? Um, you know, it's, it's always about how we're going to keep growing, right? Um, what we can do for our clients to stand out, you know, like I said, in this industry, there's so much noise, so many agencies that you have to find ways that clients see your value and what you bring to it. What's the one piece of advice to, that you would give yourself if you were to start over? Don't be afraid to say no and find your identity, identity quicker. Um, I think when we first started Fusion, like any hungry company, we would never say no to business. Everything was like, yes, 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 we can do it. If we couldn't do it, we'd find a way to do it. And I think we got lost and we didn't know who we really were. So if I could go back and say, don't be afraid to say no, find your identity, find your strengths and work off of that. Very cool. That was Neelam Kapadia. You can check him out at fusion180.com. Neelam, just before we end today, it, it, we just give our, our guests the last word. So if, if you want to recap everything that we talked about, or if you feel like there's something that, that we left out, I just want to give you the floor. Go ahead and share, 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 give us a last word today. Sure. I, I think one of the things that um, I want to just touch on is just, you know, just the future of how, um, of what we do and who we are. You know, I think it's really important in this industry to, to build on what I said before, innovate, right? To bring innovation to, uh, to our clients, to make sure we understand what's out there, weed out the noise, weed out what's interesting, and make sure our clients are always at the forefront of that technology of, of what's driving their business forward. And, and I think one of the key things there is when you can't find that innovation, you need to be the innovator. Uh, and that's really a lot of what we do here. And that goes back to what I mentioned about the software. You know, we, we've seen before that our clients, uh, you know, a lot of our clients through our analytics, they struggle with data and, and technology. And we actually went out there and when we couldn't find solutions for things like data overload, we went out there and built a proprietary software ourselves. So I think for anyone who's listening, anything of that nature, whether it applies to your business or not, I think it's all about making sure you always innovate to give your clients the best product. And when you can't, you've got to find ways to be that innovator. You know, Very again, cool. uh, you know, if you guys want to learn more about us, you know, our website is fusionway.com. Feel free to drop us a note. Uh, great to hear from you guys. And Sean, thank you. This has been, uh, like I said, it's been my first foray into it and it's, uh, it's been exciting. Awesome. Have a good day. You too, Sean.